everyone and welcome to my channel I'm Weston and today I'm doing something a bit different uh, something I don't normally uh, cover on this channel but it's something I'm wanting to do uh, from sort of today so I'm going to be reviewing uh, my Denon and I thought I've had it for a while so it's about time I actually did a review so well here it is so I'm gonna, just going to start off by walking you through um, the sort of exterior of the Denon and then I'll uh, talk more about its sort of uh, internal features and what other stuff it has. So we'll start from uh, left and then we'll work across. So first off you've got the uh, power button which is a really nice finish. It's a brushed design. Really nice. And you've got the uh, indicator above that as well. Moving across, you've got your uh, USB input, so you can plug your uh, Apple devices, I believe, work on this USB, as well as uh, normal pen drives. So then, you've got your headphone jack, so you can uh, plug some headphones in to listen to that. And then you've got your uh, volume knob as well, which is just there. Again, finished in a nice uh, sort of circular brush motion, which is really nice. Then up above, You've got your eject for your CD there. You've got your play and pause, your stop, uh, the ability to change the source, so from like your USB to CD to radio to DAB. And then you've got your um, fast forward and skip buttons. And that's pretty much it. It's quite, it's quite a clean, nice looking front. You can see it's got a really nice brushed finish. And then you've got your screen there, which I will show later on lit up. Then you've got the uh, Denon logo right at the top. So let's we'll spin this round. And you can just see uh, the vents for cooling on the side. And then you've got vents on the top, the back, and the other side as well. Right, so this is around the back. So you've got quite a, quite a few connections. So we'll start again from left to right. So you've got your analog here, which you use your red and white cables for that. So you can connect that to a DVD player, Blu-ray player, and, and stuff like that. Then you've got your digital optical, which is uh, you can use for TVs and again Blu-ray players and stuff like that. You've got a subwoofer uh, out, so you can uh, connect it to a, a separate sub, which is which is pretty cool. So you can have a 2.1 system. Then you've got uh, your antenna for your DAB and FM, which you do get included in the box, which I'll um, I'll show you in a second. Then you've got your terminals for your speakers. Now these twist, so you can either use bare cable, or you can actually remove these caps and use banana plugs as well. And then finally, you've got your power input, and obviously you will get a power cable which is specific uh, to your country, so you'll get either a 3-pin or 2-pin, the relevant one for wherever you are in the world. So that's pretty much it, I mean it's it's quite basic around the back. I'm going to spin it around the side, you can see again, we've got some more cooling, you can see the internal components as well. So now you've had a quick look round, I'm just going to show you um, what you actually get included with the Denon. Now you can buy the Denon as a package with speakers or you can buy the Denon separate like what I did. So what I'm going to do now is just uh, show you what else you get. So you get your remote. It's a really nice remote, uh, it's got a glossy black finish. Really nice, uh, well made. So let's just uh, show you a few features of uh, the remote. So you can see you've got your power, your dimmer, clock and sleep function. Then you can choose from your source, so you've got CD, tuner, iPod, USB, digital in and analog for your optical and your uh, red and white ones. Then you've got your uh, skip, back, plain pause, skip forward, uh, some tuning for your radio, uh, stop, your mute button, channel up and down, that's for your radio, uh, volume, again, for any, any function that you're on. An SBD tone, uh, DB, sorry, uh, and I'll explain a little bit about that in a minute. And you've got your folder mode, your browser, and then uh, your ability to move around the function and select other ones. And then you've got your input, 
uh, to skip through tracks so you can uh, use this and instead of skipping through loads of tracks you can just tap that press a number and it takes you to that exact number then you've just got a few more features at the bottom so it's a pretty nice pretty nice remote if I can just get it all in for you it's quite large but then again it does have quite a lot of, of features it's not got much dead space on it so that, that's pretty nice if you just bear with me a second I'll just grab the cable that comes with it as well right so also included you get this cable you can see the connection there so this is for your radio and DAB and then this is just a you can see that right so that's uh, your cable just for that the remote to control the denim so you can see it's uh, on iPod uh, USB at the minute but there is nothing here so you can switch between your disc, tuner, uh, your digital and your analog so this is your SPD thing, uh, what I was talking about, and it's just like a boost for your, for your audio. I normally keep it off because it sounds pretty good without it, but if, if you want, you can always boost it by using that. And again with the SDB uh, tone, you press it, press it again, and then you can uh, adjust your bass and your treble and uh, your balance as well. So if I press set up, you can see you've got some different functions, you can do your clock, it's even got an alarm as well, so you can turn your alarm on and off, and then you've got your tuner set up, your speaker optimization, uh, your standby, and that's pretty much it for that. Now again, like I said, and then you've got your, so you can see now, obviously it's not plugged in, so that's just one of the radio stations that you can get, and then obviously this will depend on where you are in the world, and uh, obviously um, Depends what uh, sort of stations you get where you uh, where you are. You can see now you've got to uh, turn it up and down using the volume. Use the uh, channel button to change the station. Now uh, there is one little issue I've had with this. Uh, the display, uh, first of all, is quite nice. It's really clear. Although it does look a little bit old-fashioned, it is really nice. I mean. You can see from the camera it's really easy to read, but it just looks a little bit old fashioned. Uh, now to the issue, now um, where I live, uh, DAB, I don't know, I've just had a bit of issues with it uh, connecting. Now it might just be how I've set it up or my area, but I can't seem to get a signal on DAB, which is a bit of a pain because they do have some pretty decent stations. but. Yeah, I mean that might not happen for you, but I just found that I couldn't get signal no matter where I placed the aerial. So that that could be something to consider if you live in an area with poor signal. Right, so now I'm just going to run through um, a couple of specifications. 30 by 30 watt at 6 ohms. Obviously it's got your USB support and uh, your headphone support as well. It plays back MP3 and WMA through the uh, front USB. It has iPod functionality as well, so you can control uh, the Denon via uh, an iPod. So obviously it's got uh, FM and DAB uh, stations available. So you've got your radio text as well, so you can actually uh, see the information about the station. And sometimes it even tells you what song's playing as well, which is pretty handy. If you like a song and you want to um, write down what it is, so you can find it later. So you can have uh, 40 station presets. Which is it? Which is quite a substantial amount, depending on the sort of where you live. You might not get that many stations, but anyway. So the denim weighs four kilogram, uh, unboxed, and around five point two, I think, uh, in the packaging. Uh, the dimensions are in millimeter, two hundred and ten wide, by one hundred and fifteen tall, by three hundred eight deep. So it's quite a compact unit. But I will uh, advise that it will need to be a sort of a deep uh, unit that you put it on. Otherwise it's not going to fit because of obviously how deep it is. So it only uses 0.3 watt of energy on standby. And there's no quoted for uh, when it's on. But I will try and find it and put it in the, the description for you. And then finally it comes in either black, which I have here. 
or an equally nice um, silver colour as well. So now I'm just going to talk about sound quality. Well, I'm not exactly going to talk about it. I'm going to uh, link all my sound tests I've used this denim for in the description so you can uh, have a browse through them and really get an idea of what this uh, denim can actually perform like. So in the comments let me know uh, which videos you decided to watch the denim on and let me know uh, your thoughts and opinions on what it actually sounds like and whether it's worth the money. Right guys so um, that's about it for this review. Obviously there is a much more to talk about but the video will just keep going on and on. So what I'll do is try and get as much information as I can in the description for you. But if I've missed anything out, please feel free to contact me in the um, comments and I'll do my best to answer any questions for you. Right, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.